Summertime baseball is heating up as the Brainerd American Legion team has advanced to the state tournament. Anthony Scott shows us how with their strong pitching, the sky is the limit. We have a lot of guys that uh, have one common goal because we know this is our last time together. With nine seniors who just graduated from high school, it's now or never for the Brainerd American Legion team as they prepare for the state tournament. It's more mental than physical right now because we've always played. It's the same game as always, so we're just trying to get our confidence up for the biggest, biggest time of the year. With four shutouts over five games in the regional tournament, Brainerd is peaking just in time for the big stage. I think we're going to make a run. I really do. Um, we have a good team, and we're pretty hot right now, so yeah, I'm excited. Key to this team is, is absolutely been the pitching has been phenomenal for high school. Not a great hitting team as a as team as a whole, but the, the pitching, our team ERA is about 2.3, which is very good for high school. The state tournament is 16 teams, double elimination style, so the pitching depth is more important than ever. I think I only have one person on the roster that did not throw, and that was our catcher, so he's throwing every day. So we gave him a break and didn't put him on the mound, but everyone else has. Brainerd is looking forward to that first game in the state tournament, which is against Adina, who happens to be the tournament's host. I think they'll overlook us a little bit. I mean, everybody wants us to beat the KQ Jersey Dinah, so I think it'll be a fun game. It's Brainerd's first time in the tournament since 2014, but they have no shortage of confidence. I expect to win it all. I, you know, we, we can go six, seven pitchers deep. That's what it's going to take in a state tournament. Um, I see no reason why we can't do it. Reporting from Brainerd, Anthony Scott, Lakeland News. Brainerd departed for Edina today and will play the hosts in the first round of the tournament at 1 o'clock tomorrow. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.